Cordelia, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us today. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be in Cape Town. It's beautiful, yeah? So. In fact, it sounds like you're having a whirlwind trip in Cape Town. I am. I'm, I, I, was, I was actually so busy this morning with radio interviews and yeah, and now I'm here with you guys. So thank you for the time. Absolutely. Now, I think the thing that everybody is excited about is that you've recorded a song that is going to be part of CakeNet's official World Cup. Um, coverage. Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, I'm so privileged to be part of it and to be an artist performing the song with the, um, there's always, um, also other um, artists there and then uh, the song is called Book Toy Toy and that's for Cake Nets, um, yeah, rugby song, theme song. So it's very, very nice. Um, I'm looking forward to see the, the, the music video. So you haven't seen it yet? No, no, no. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm very, very excited to see it. Yeah. And it's all recorded. What was that process like? Oh, it was, it was a whole day shoot. It was so nice. It was like we had like audience there and people there, like they are watching a game and it was like a school rugby here in a beautiful Cape Town. And then the people called Chiff and Chuff from CakeNet, you know the, the, the um, I don't know how you can pronounce it in English, but the TV program from CakeNet, Chiff and Chuff, it's like a children uh, mm -hmm. program, they are also participating in it. And I think like Bihanka Lagrain is there, um, and yeah, Len Miller and CakeNet's people. So we are very privileged to do the song, yeah. Now I have it on very good authority that not only did you record this rugby song, but you're actually a huge rugby fan yourself. I am. The, I think I'm the biggest rugby fan. <laughs> I really do support the Springboks and then, not to say it out loud, but if I may, I'm a Shark supporter. Me too. You too. Okay, yes. well then, yo, I'm, I'm really, I love, love rugby and I think it's the, the one thing that brings South Africa together and to see like we, we sing the anthem together. It's, I'm, I'm just proud South African, yo. That is always my favourite part of any international rugby match. It's the national anthem before it's the game. beautiful, eh? like yeah. chicken pox, yo. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> now the national squad, there is a lot of attention on them at the moment, but actually um, your outlook on life by following you on social media is all about positivity and optimism and, mm. and seeing the best in our country and its people. So yes. while there's a lot of negativity happening in the country around the spring box and all, all sorts of other things, you choose to look at the bright side of life. Yes. Tell us why, because honestly, that's not always easy. Yeah, I think um, my, my art goes is like, you know, life doesn't owe you anything. And I think it's it's really yeah. just great being here today. And um, if I can say in Afrikaans, this is my genade om op te doen wat ons kan doen. En ons kan kies om, om te vergewe en om hoop te geer op buiten. Um, so yeah, I, I, I choose forgiveness and I choose love. And yeah, that's that's my, my outlook of life. Now let's talk, speaking about love, about um, your newest single. That video has got about 80,000 hits on YouTube as yeah. we're speaking at the moment and it's a bit of a heart sore song. It's about love that perhaps is not going the way that you want it to go. Tell us about it. Yeah, I think so. The song is called Mal in your Corp. So in English... A strong, <laughs> strong um, title for that song. Yeah, for the Afrikaans, you know, for to say Mal in your Corp. My, my mother was actually like teaching me from, you know, like t telling me, listen, you don't talk like that. You don't say Mal in your Corp. It's like for English speaking pupils, it's like crazy in your head. But that song is like, Jy is mal in jou kop om te dink dat ek hier die liefde kan stop. Het, dit beteken nie dat, if, as jy raarig so lief is vir iemand, um, stik die hier en werk daar die hier en fight vir jou hevelik. Um, daar is soveel hevelike vandag wat, wat net gebroke gaan. En ek dink dit is, dit is wat die liekie sê, een mens moet, jy weet, gee, gee liefde een kans en, en fight vir liefde. Mm. Mense gee so makkelijk gauw op, um, never give up on love. Mm. Yeah. Now, you're obviously speaking from a place where you understand this. You've been married for, for seven years yeah, yourself. Yeah. When it comes to your music and um, your artistry, do you draw from your personal life? Do you find that um, that's, that's a helpful place to get inspiration? I really think, um, think so, yes, yes, I do. In, in my personal life, I'm like I've lost my father and, and one of the songs that I wrote um, is called As the Drian and um, my father passed away in a hit and run accident and that was one of my one personal songs that I've ever wrote and um, and the, the, the night that he passed away it was also raining so I was like you know I'm gonna write personal and then I, I called the song As the Drian and I had him for my father so I is by personal aanslag, I feel it's belangrijk um, um, honesty, to give honesty to, to, your, to your listeners and this is my very belangrijk, yeah.